Well, this offense starts with Blake Rambush at the top of the lineup. He will start things off against Chase Burns, who comes in with a 7-1 record. Here's Auburn's lineup that will face Burns. Right here is a perfect opportunity. For the young man Chase Burge, one, two, three, will head to the bottom of the first as the Vols grab their bats for the first time tonight. The best start in SEC baseball history at 17 and one. Nobody in the history of this conference has ever done that, and they certainly have their eyes on another trip to Omaha. Well, that's what they would hit, 128. School records, 107. And that'll do it for the Volunteers. So a good start by Hayden Mullins. Bobby Pierce to lead things off. Cam Hill now. We just saw his graphic. will step to the batter's box after the Chase Burns strikeout. The Tennessee's had a paltry two. That one is slapped out to right. That's going to get down. A couple of hops off the wall. Carlson rounds first. He'll be on his way to second with a double. And that'll be double number four on Moore. Slaps it to the right side. Lipsia steps on the bag, and that'll do it. Players getting so low, but Drew Gilbert has raised himself into the first round of conversation for reasons like that. Missiles. You better get going. Yeah. <laughs> That's how hard that ball was impacted today. <laughs> Trying to throw up a run here with nobody out and a runner at first, and there's a walk. So now first and second. Ice on the year for Luke. Lays it down, and it is well done. He plays over the first, and it's a high throw. That'll get the first run home as Gilbert touches the plate, and runners are at second and third. Mullins just airmailed it. Yeah, and if you think about it, Dave, not only is it smart to, you know, left on left, but you got a guy in Mullins that we know scatters the fastball from the mound, so to make him feel his position is something he's not real comfortable doing. As he airmails this one, Dave, I'm surprised Trey Lipscomb didn't score on this. I mean, this ball gets way away from Bobby Pierce. Slaps that one out to right. Run scores, 2-0 Tennessee. So, you know, you can talk all you want to about the home runs with this Tennessee team. They can play baseball. There's versatility in this offense. We just saw the bump by Ellipsius, and now how about Evan Russell controlling the barrel. Watch how flat this barrel is. Fastball up, just a beautiful move through the back of the ball. A rocket into right field. You talk about situational baseball. Get them over, get them in. The ability to execute in the little things. That right now with Dickey being out. Round ball to the left side. Here's the play at the plate. They get the out. That's the second out of the inning. Bringing Cortland Lawson along. Fly ball out to right center. It looks like it'll stay in play, and it does. And Bobby Pierce puts a glove on it. Said, and, and certainly Bush Thompson highlighted his emergence has really solidified this club. There you go. Base hit. Start things off here in the third for Nate LaRue. Did he go? No, says our third base umpire, Nathan Huber. Now, I've never seen it happen. First three ball count for Chase Burns tonight. And he walked him. So first and second, nobody out. Tennessee had the same scenario here for Rambush. Make it 18, and they are now loaded. Swing and a miss, and the ball goes down. A rare strikeout for Sonny Desher, and a huge strikeout. And then sealed the win with an over-the-fence catch that robbed the Gators of a home run in the bottom of the 11th. Ground ball to the right side. Trying to get two, and they do. Inning is over. Foster to Moore to the Sheriff. He had to last inning. That ball's hit out to center field. And he'll drop for a base hit. 
So a good start for Cam Hill. Great job of player development, but boy, where would they be without Carlson and Deshaun? Check swing it, he goes. LaRue again slaps it down the left field line. That will drop in for a base hit. They will hold the runner at third, and Nate LaRue has his second hit of the night. Cole Foster, the second baseman, walks his first time up. First pitch swinging. That one is down the line and left in foul territory, and a catch is made out there by Booker. Well done. I don't quite know until a guy really sits in that head coach chair. But everybody knew Tony B could recruit. Slapped out to right field. But Bobby Pierce right there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Jordan Beck had it for a fraction of a second, but not long enough. But doesn't matter. Chase Burns comes back and gets another strikeout. Because those are, while all those guys, another punch out on the break. As Casey Hill goes down for the second time tonight. Seven of them have come from the top four in this Auburn lineup. There is Deshera, base hit, back up the middle. After back-to-back -back strikeouts, finally gets the base hit, and he has now reached base in 41 straight games. Trying to land one more breaking ball on the edge here. Struck out the side. Now what is... Belted in the right center off the bat of Cortland Lawson. He'll turn the corner and gets to second base in a hurry. A stand-up double, his sixth of the year with one out. Vitello doing it in, in baseball. In. Grounded to third. Rambush across the diamond. Number one team in the country will leave a runner. Hasn't shown a lot of great stuff throughout this year. The 7-1 record as this one is dropped in for a base hit. But when he had the bases loaded in the third and went strike out of Howell, strike out of DeShera, strike out of Pierce to get out of it. And walked him. Athletic enough to make a play if you bunt it too hard. Down the first baseline. And there. Close play. Wow. So close that he's safe. Three. Ground ball. Back up the middle. Base hit. One run in. Here's the throw. It is in time. Carlson gunned down at the plate, but the Tigers do pick up a run. How about it? Drew Gilbert used to be a pitcher, came to Tennessee as a two-way player, and he gets a full head of steam going into this one, folks, and throws a missile. And credit Evan Russell, he's got to go to his backhand and then all the way back across his body. And, Brick, I will, uh, I, I will say this. That ball's belted out to center field. Gilbert on the run. It is out of here. Home run. Rambush answers the bell for the Tigers. No review needed on that one. Well, how about it? This volunteer pitchy step now, they've been playing with fire all night long, and just when it looked like Auburn was not going to be able to catch in, Cole Foster with a bullet up the middle and the hit collector himself, Blake Rambush, sits on a breaking ball and goes big fly to dead center, just right of center field on a night where the, the wind is really not doing anything. That is a big boy ball. We'll play tonight. Again, <laughs> they all find the barrel. No, the, the guy hits singles that takes your breath. It'll become a trend, but it's really cool to see. Well, it worked well for Skipper. The bat that Sonny D comes up to bat. He's got a walk-up song that the name of it escapes me, but it's some Italian tune that the whole place sings along to. He's mm -hmm. called strike three. Inning is over. Auburn. A 
fly out back in the fourth. That one is a fair ball right on the line. Russell turns the corner. He will wind up with a leadoff double, his 11th of the season, and a great time for number 11 if you're a Tennessee fan. Ground ball to the right side. They will hold the runner, so it'll be first and third now. the third baseman Ram Bush. That'll get Russell home. They'll be at first and second and nobody out and it's a 4-3 game. That one just does sneak by the second baseman Foster. So Burkhalter with a 1-2 count. This ball is mashed out you to left. It is not going to stay in the yard. Grand slam. Tennessee has taken the lead. Wow. Well, just when you think you've seen it all from this team, how about about a three-minute delay for Joel Ortega? And a young man that has done a lot this season is yet to get a hit with the bases loaded. How about a hanging cutter out over the plate, and he goes. They just have a metric to keep track of it. As Gilbert hits a rocket in the left. But the, both of these, the, these three guys, Beck, Gilbert, and Lipscomb. And, you know, oh, by the way, Lipsius has 11 homers. Round ball pass to diving more at short. Shot out to right field. It's hit hard. Hard enough to leave the yard. A three run shot. Evan Russell, his ninth of the year. He just took 98 way out of the yard. Gilbert and Beck off this team. Lipscomb. Oh, goodness. Ortega does it again. His second home run of the night. That one is passed to diving Ram Bush at third. It gets into the corner. And Beck. Will wind up at second base for his mm -hmm. staff. There is no way to get a big cushion. Right back up the middle. Let's see what Beck does. He turns the corner coming home. He'll be safe for the 13th run of the game. Used to rise. That ball's hit high and deep to right. Pierce runs out of room. Another home run. They scored, I think, the, the two, uh -oh. oh, goodness. It is a two-home run night for Evan Russell. Mason Land, the junior. Transferred in from Chattahoochee Valley Community College will end this one on a little blooper to second base.